Merry Christmas, Granddad. Oh, Betty's. Oh, that's Merry beautiful. Christmas Merry Christmas. Yeah. The party's on. The feeling's oh, here. Oh, oh, Merry oh, Christmas. Jack, got your knees or do you want to feel left out? No way. <laughs> no, no way. Look at this one by yourself. How could you possibly think these were a good idea? Hey, it's good for kids to be musical. You call that musical? This will be the best Christmas present you've ever had. It's beautiful. Thank you. <gasps> come on, just one. Hey, I am not going to work stinking of boo. Oh, come on, can't you just pull a sickie? And where would that leave the people who are genuinely sick? Exactly. Bailey family, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Oh, what a telephone. Nothing gets past you. Hmm? The party's on. I've always wanted one of these. You can't beat the sound of birdsong in your garden, can you? You need to get hold of some fat balls. I won't ask. Come on, Mrs. Santa wants his crimbo smacker. My usual. Good. You make a nice change. You coming home from work, smell of something different other than bacon fat. Oh, right, OK. And do you hear me complaining when you come home covered in dandruff and split ends? There are hairs in that bed that couldn't have possibly come from either of us. Right, well, at least he got you something. Hey, we're doing your gifts over at dinner. Right, well, whatever. Oh, sorry, I haven't got you anything. I didn't have time. Well, the fact that you're in one piece is good enough gift for your dad. Mm. Listen, do you want um, a not chocolate? With all the trimmings, marshmallows, I'm doing one for Lil. Hey, they come in these little, little Santa mugs. Go on, you know you wanna. Yeah, all right, go on then. Around and open fire, Jack Frost nipping at your nose. <laughs> <Get off. laughs> what have you been doing? Well, I've been wishing Sally the compliments of the season and finding a site for my new bird table. Bird table? Yes, my Christmas present to myself. It's a weird gift. No, it's not. Weird is me mum buying Stephen a roof box. Hang on, he hasn't even got a car. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> He's having to fit it on her car. At least we've got a garden to put mm. my bird table in. I just hope he's not too disappointed that he didn't get his neutron, man. Does he look unhappy to you? Well, he's chuffed with what Santa's brought him. And it makes you realise you don't have to spend a fortune to have a good time. As you never said ever. Well, maybe I've learnt something. When you think you might lose everything, it makes you realise what really matters. The essential air invisible. Poor Leia. Come again? Uh, it's from a book. The Little Prince. What is essential is invisible to the eyes. Which, unfortunately, also includes your present. Well, no offence, but no bottle of plonk, 20 quid or not, could have taught getting me all clear. Or this. Today couldn't get any better. No way! <laughs> Hospitality package for the county? Yeah, for two. I thought you could take care of. Oh, what? You shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, well, after the year we've had, you deserve it. Yeah. So? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Mm. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to wrap it, but uh, Deb had an offer on gift bags, which was lucky. 
And on chocolates? Yeah, it's because they're going out of date, but uh, don't worry, they'll last till at least tomorrow. I thought we'd smash them tonight after our pieces anyway. <laughs> I see. There is something else in there. <sighs> Phew. Ty, for a minute there, I thought that was everything. <laughs> Well, you've not got one for your keys, and I thought, don't miss an opportunity to promote the business. Is this what you and the girls missed the cinema trip to go and get? That key ring's mint. I'll stick it on your keys. I wish I had one. Oh, yeah, we can get you one. Don't worry, we've got a box load. We can't give them away. You just did. Right, I'll get a bin bag, sort this wrapping paper out. This is great, by the way. <laughs> go, go, go. Stop pacing. You've already done for the sofa. You don't want to wear out the carpet on top. Where's Eileen now? Still in bed at my place. Told her I was coming round to help tuck up the dinner and she shouldn't come round till it's ready. Oh, that'll be nice for her. Not be nice for all of us from what I've tasted of her cooking. I seriously considered gate crashing that wedding when I thought you were making dinner. If you still want to go, then Sean's got a free plus one now that his boyfriend's chickened out. Uh, thank you. Lawrence has got a stomach problem. He hasn't got the guts to tell you he's not ready for a big public commitment. Oh, right, and Todd's now the world expert on commitment, is he? Oh, never mind all that. What are we going to sit on? Because I doubt a four-inch sofa's going to cut it. And what am I going to give Eileen for Christmas? Well, um, I could nip to the shop and assemble a bouquet. No. Flowers are an apology, Mary, not a present. Nonsense. Finest gift I got as a young woman was in Cadiz. Cadiz? Yes, Cadiz. And I was feeling rather melancholy when a gentleman friend, Ramon, surprised me with the most magnificent peonies I'd ever laid eyes on. You know, and I've seen a few in my time, believe me. But even the hardiest peonies can wilt in the heat, but Ramon's... Ramon's put a smile on my face every morning for a week. Fancy. Back on planet Earth, we need a plan. I'm afraid not even your scheming can save him now. Hey, she might see the funny side. Maybe in 10 or 15 years. Well, Atten, you can think on bright side, eh? It's better than the coffin you got her last year. Yeah, I suppose so. That's it? What's it? George, uh, come on, the clock's ticking. Uh, right, uh, Mary, you get cracking on the biggest bouquet you've ever made in your life, right? Come on, George. <clears throat> Damn it. You all right? Oh, this thing's driving me crazy. Oh, uh, Merry Christmas. Oh, well, that might be asking a lot. You sound how I feel. Well, it's just when I think about what I should have been doing. You know, watching the snow fall in Canada, chucking another log on the fire, snuggling up to the Christmas jumper I'd have bought Leo, cleaning the pipes at the Rovers while it can't compete. <laughs> well, if you're open later, I might drop by. Oh, yeah, we're open. We've got a function on, actually. Fizz and Tyrone's wedding reception. Mm. Well, I, I didn't know. Oh, no, well, you wouldn't, cos it's, uh, it's top secret. Well, maybe we can get drunk together and struggle through the Boxing Day. Look, Stephen... I... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, that sounded all uh, wrong. What I meant is have a drink uh, as friends. You know, Christmas is tough when you're, when you're alone. I thought we could provide mutual support, that's all. OK. OK, yeah, well, I'll, um, I'll see you later, then. Right. It's a date. Or not. Just like we practiced, do you ready? One, two, three. Go into the chapel and we're gonna get mad. What's that? Sorry, you might not want a proper Christmas, but I do. Gone to pick up a turkey? No! Come on, pick up, please. Oh, come on. Yeah, love, get this down your neck. I should have just told her, shouldn't I? 
I mean, the registrar is not going to stick about now, is he? Eh? He's spending Christmas night in Nuneaton with his sister, he's already told me. A fist could be anywhere, couldn't you? She'll be at that farm where Les got his turkeys. He's open all holiday. What's the point in that? Burnt turkeys, underfrosted turkeys, rotten turkeys, family rows. He reckons Christmas Day was one of his busiest. He even has turkeys pre-cooked. Mm -hmm. And if I had a hat, I'd doff it off. Anyway, it's not that far. She'll be fine, mate. Yeah, get yourself to the hotel. We'll all meet you there. Yeah, us two will stay at your place with Fizzy's dress and then when she gets back, we'll fill her in. Yeah, then it'll be fine, mate. Yeah. Mm. The key ring. Pizza. It's flaming Christmas Day. <sighs> so towing and hearts will be glowing when loved ones are near. It's the most wonderful time. Yes, the most wonderful time. Oh, the most wonderful time of the year. What? You sing? No! Pick up or I'm gonna. No, 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 I don't believe it. <gasps> what is it? It's, it's your present. New sofa. Ta -da. Happy Christmas. What's my old bedspread doing on my sofa? Well, I'd say it's more of a throw. Well, the only place I was going to throw that was the bin. Well, well, that's what's wrong with modern society, isn't it? I mean, you know, uh, perfectly good items get thrown away when they can be reused. Too big to wrap. You want me to unveil it? Uh, no, 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 no. No. Best left on, love. Well, why would you put an old bedspread on a new sofa? Is it, is it second hand? I promise you, it's never been occupied. Oh, and it's dead comfy. Really comfy, I mean. Hmm. Maybe for someone your age, but it's very low. I'm not going to get up from it. People generally don't. Low slung sofas are in fashion now, Mum. And throws. <laughs> you bang on trend. I can see you don't like it, love. I'll just change it. No, let's not be so hasty. At least we can give it a chance. <laughs> yeah, I think you should. <laughs> in the meantime, I need to get to this wedding, so I shall be back a little later on. All right, Dilbert? Enjoy! Coward! That, that shouldn't bother, love. Like you said, we might need a block and tackle to get you out of it. Because it's so low, not because you're old and decrepit. Speed your digging. You should have been a grave digger instead of an undertaker. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whoa! Oh. Get oh. me out of it! It's eating no, me! It's no good at all. Oh. Send it back, oh. love. But look, I've got you some lovely flowers as well. I can't believe Weatherfield sofas had sent something out like that. It's the waffle iron. Yeah. So you can have the taste of home here. Uh, oh, that's very, uh, very thoughtful. Thank, thank you. Um, oh, actually, I, I got you two a little something. Oh, I thank you. hope it comes in useful. Oh, yeah. Well, uh... Oh, it's. Uh... You're not wrong, it is a little something. David. Well, I mean, we shell out best side of 40 noughts, and old Elon Musk here gets us a five quid oh. travel pillow. Well, they're, they're very handy uh, on flights, uh, especially long haul. Oh, really? Well, we'll have to remember that, won't we, when we're jetting off to Sydney? <laughs> we can try a sandwich it between us heads. <laughs> well, we could take it in turns, I suppose. Yeah, Gran, you might as well have it for your cruise. How would you need a travel pillow on a cruise? Don't be so ungrateful, David. It's the thought that counts. Mm. Come on. Well, I hope you put a bit more thought into my birthday present. Oh. Oh, you know they messed up the delivery, mm -hmm. but it'll be here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh uh, Max, we uh, we had a word with Santa, didn't we? And he cracked the whip with the elves. Mm -hmm. ah.
an edit suite pro. Yeah, the review said it was pretty decent. Decent? Zona, this is <laughs> one of the best <laughs> editing packages on the market. You, you shouldn't have spent this much. Well, you worth it, you know? And Lily chipped in as well. She gave up some of her pocket money. Did you really? Do you like it? I love it. Thank you. Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compliments to the chef. Oh, no. You've the certainly chef. picked a few things up in that London lad. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> when are you going back? A couple of days, just a flying visit. Mm. But a lovely surprise, nonetheless. Not to mention an extra pair of hands later. Later? We're distributing Christmas dinner to the homeless. Yeah, yeah. You know, you really feel it out on the streets this time of year. Oh, do you know what, Tim? We should do that one Christmas, shouldn't we? Should we? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, we should, yeah. yeah. yeah go. <laughs> you could do with the exercise the way you eat at Christmas. You want that in your Christmas present. What about Steve? Oh, he's got all the backbone of a garden snail when faced with a woman on a mission. Oh, what a woman you are! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I would love to help you dish out food, but I've got plans. What plans? Yeah, I'm just meeting up with Stephen. Mm. Oh, well, we better hide the mistletoe then, haven't we? Oh. <laughs> Look, we're friends, that's all. Uh, we're just good friends. <laughs> Jesus. It's the good friends, then. <laughs> good, yes. friends. good friends. Good friends. Yes. <laughs> How am I supposed to propose when I haven't got an engagement ring? Four words. Will you marry me? Job done. She deserves something special. And it will be, with or without a bit of overpriced jewellery. This will be the only time she gets proposed to. Fingers crossed. Needs to be right. One expertly poured pint. Didn't realise Gemma was on. I know how to pour a perfect pint, and I'll give you a close-up demonstration if you like. All right, I'm going before things turn nasty. Oh, and you, um, think on about what I said. That fingers. <sighs> Stop messing with that. It's choking me, it's too tight. The only thing uptight around here is you. Relax. Ow, oh, this whole thing could be a waste of time. If you're trying to garrot yourself, you're going the right way about it. Are you doing it? Well, I was hoping to attend a family wedding. Otherwise, I've dashed halfway across the country for nothing. Uh, but James said that you went to stay with someone uh, else. James says a lot of things. Sometimes it's more than flesh and blood can stand. What? what so you didn't go and stay with someone else? I'll ask the questions. What's that horrible Bernie woman doing at the house? Whatever possessed you to turn your own wedding into an ambush? Good question. Well, I was trying to surprise her, but she's not going to turn up now, is she? Chin up. Yeah, well, it's easy to say that. No, I mean, I need your chin up. Oh, sorry. Well, it's not going to matter anyway, is it? I need a miracle. Well, time of year for a minute. Likewise, any excuse for a breather. <laughs> I overdid it on the brandy and mince pies last night. <laughs> what are you doing out here? The car's broken down. Oh, wish I could help, <laughs> but I don't drive a car. <laughs> oh, I'm Chris, by the way. Oh, Fizz. Well, Fiona, technically. Oh, Fizz will do fine. Seems fitting, given the day. <laughs> Not the way my day's going. You haven't got a mobile I could borrow. Sorry. Can't abide the things. Do you live local? Miles away, love. Every Christmas day I set out first thing and follow the same route I always do. Don't you spend Christmas with your family? Every year. In here, in there. No point sitting at home pulling crackers with myself. Rain, snow or shine, out I go. And when I'm done, I whistle up a ride home. What about you? Uh, have you no family you want to be with? Yeah, I've got family, but whether I want to be with them or not, that's another matter. Sounds like we need to get you home. Look, a mile or so back, I passed a phone box. Could be a defibrillator now, who knows, but it's worth a shot. If it's a phone, well, you can call your people. If it's a defibrillator, I might be wanting it myself by that stage. <laughs> and uh, while we walk, perhaps you can tell me all about this family of yours. Here you go! 
Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, lovely. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Your lads are stubborn, so and so. You know. You know he was planning on proposing this morning. Really? On Christmas Day? Hey, there's romantic. <laughs> yeah, well, he would have been. Except the engagement ring got whipped when they burgled next door. Oh, no. Well, you still ask her to marry him. That's what I said. But he absolutely refuses to do it without a ring. He won't budge. Oh, for goodness sake. Make me jump. You know, I had enough of loud bangs. What are you and your little mates up to this Christmas? Anything? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Let's just change the subject, shall we? No, no. Go on, I want to know. Well, I didn't think Christmas would be Griff's thing, with Jesus coming from the Middle East and being Jewish, of course. Well, he's not racist. Who, who's Griff? He's bad news. Well, the local grand wizard. I mean, all right, he's not running about with a pillowcase on his head, but... He's dreaming of a white Christmas, if you know what I mean. Well, you're just like the rest, aren't you? You know, you call people racist when they ask questions just to shut them down. I'm winding you up. At least Griff cares about me. More than you do, anyway. Uh, editing sweet pro. Would I shell out on all that money if I didn't care? OK, so throw money at us, then. You know, to make up for everything else. All right, guys, come on, just turn it down. No, again. no, no, it's all right. I'm going to go. Don't know why I bothered coming anyway. <laughs> Max, come on. <sighs> nice one. I'm going to consult my sound now. If there's roadworks on the A5, I'm done for. Well? Good news and bad news. This has ordered a turkey, but she ain't collected it yet. All oh, right, well, that's it. I mean, she's never going to get here on time, is she? Listen, folks, I'm, I'm sorry that I've dragged you all here for nothing. Oh, come on. There's no harm in waiting for Fizz for a few more minutes. It happen, it's a, it's a bride's prerogative, isn't it? <laughs> to be fashionably late. <laughs> she doesn't even know that we're here. Look, there's no point in the spread going to waste, so why don't you lot go back to the Rovers? Nobody will be getting married here today. survive, but we have. Well, you must think a lot of each other. Well, I thought so. I was really looking forward to this Christmas. It's our first one back together as a proper family. Ty doesn't even care. What makes you say that? Well, he said he wanted it to be special and it's like he's trying to sabotage it. I got him a really smashing present. And do you know what he gave me? A key ring from his garage and a box of half-priced chocolate. Christmas is about more than presents. Oh, no, I'm not I'm not bothered about expensive gifts. I just... I wanted them to be thoughtful. Did you tell him this? Uh, it was written all over my face. <laughs> Sometimes blokes aren't the best readers. My missus would have said I was practically illiterate in that department. You need to talk to him. OK. <laughs> I haven't got any coins. The contactless generation. In more ways than one. Luckily, us Holden still know the value of hard currency. I always carry a bag of change. Oh. And if I see tuppence on the floor, I don't walk on by. Thank you. What now? I can't remember his mobile. I I've just had him on speed dial for that long. Well, you must know your landline. We got rid of it. Save on the line rental. Huh. And they call it progress. <sighs> Breakdown recovery. 24 seconds. Isn't that your fiance's garage? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. You are a genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not such a duff present after all. <laughs> off to Aggie working today. Yeah, yeah. where the general's like the little theatre right now. What, you mean they walk about and they all together? No, I mean they never close. Oh, fair play to her. And everyone else working this Christmas. Yeah. Right, the kids are all set up in the back. Anyone fancy cat herding duties? Go on then. I'll take the first watch. Yeah. I'll give you a break in a bit. How much do you want for the drinks, Jen? Uh, 
I can run to a couple of pictures of squash. <laughs> Oh, it's a shame Tyrone didn't come back. Mm, felt too sick to eat. Not half as sick as me. I spent hours making that dress presentable. There was nothing even wrong with it in the first place. Yes, I wish I'd been here. I'd never let him get away with that cloak and dagger business. Oh, well, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> yes, I, I, I'm no great lover of the unexpected, but I can see why Tyrone might have thought a surprise agreeable. Well, as surprises go, it was about as agreeable as Pearl Harbor. Who's that on Christmas Day? Ooh, be a breakdown. Yeah, definitely two missed calls. We'll leave it then. Maybe they'll get the message. Look out. Maggie's not the only one on duty. That's why I'm on tap water. You can't say 365, 24-7 and not walk the walk, can you? Well, I'd let them do the walking personally. Who do they think we are? Flaming borrowers? You look much bigger on the internet. Oh, don't worry, love. We've all fallen for that online. What are you doing home so early? It's a long story. I'm just going to go and get changed. Yeah, the mistake, I can forgive. I mean, it's a whole new level of stupid, but at least it's genuine. But this, on the other hand... That was my idea. Oh, now, why doesn't that surprise me? Yeah, at least you got to try it out. Try out what? <sighs> That's the casket I bought you last Christmas. I've been keeping it in the shop. What? Yeah, the, the craftsmanship's exceptional. The craftsmanship is neither here nor there. How many people eat Christmas dinner out of their own coffin? You might be surprised, though. What have you got planned for later? Walking off dinner with a stroll around the cemetery to pick me plot? I'm so sorry, Eyelash. I promise I'll get you a proper sofa. I will pick me own sofa. You, you get rid of that. Where are we going to sit, then? Well, you're not going to sit on that! I am not spending Christmas contemplating my own mortality! To be honest, that's how I spend most Christmas days. I've ruined my kids' Christmas, my friends' Christmas, and Fizzy's when she finds out about this fiasco. Oh, she'll understand. I don't even know what I'm going to say to her. Well, you better work some it out, and fast. Fizz. Bad news. I didn't get a turkey, but Kev reckons you've got other plans anyway. Yeah, well, I did have, but I've made a mess of everything. It's all right, mate. I've picked up the dress from yours, so you can still get spliced. What, and did you remember Vera's earrings? Of course he did, because he's as sentimental as you are. <sighs> so, we can still get spliced. <laughs> uh the registrar's gone. It's off. It'll be fine if you just stop fussing. <sighs> what, are you crossing your legs on the M6 toll because you've not had time to stop? So, you want to go ahead? Of course I do, if you still do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, you get plenty of time for that later. There's children present. <laughs> Can we get a wiggle on then, please? If I'm still this side of Stoke in an hour's time, I might as well turn round. Yes. Girls, come and help me. <laughs> Apologising, like I'm sick of having to tiptoe around everything. He needs to wise up, right? He needs to know exactly who his friends are. Griff will be exposed eventually. Well, don't hold your breath. And yeah, it's his choice. He can he can do what he wants. Now you have to excuse me. I'm going to go enjoy what's left of my birthday. He's fooling no one. No, he's worried sick. Yeah, but why antagonise him? Could he not just manage a kickabout in no man's land for one day? Are you Christmases normally like this? No, you know what, Stephen? It could be worse. At least this year I didn't get shot. Right, we're going to make oh, traps. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You haven't pulled a cracker yet. I hate to break it to you again, but you actually did that a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Christmas if you're not wearing a paper hat. All right, well, if you insist. Yeah, 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 try this one. Why? What's so special about this one? Just pull the cracker already. What is that? Hey, I tell you what. Fresco's has really upped its game in the cracker department. Read the motto. Are you married? I don't think that's intended for your father. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Will you marry me? a piece of paper for me? Oh, I thought that might be overly presumptuous. Right. 
Well, I can hardly say no on Christmas Day, can I? What's up? Congestion at Nutsford Services. There's a pair of trousers like that. <laughs> nice, that. Huh? Well, it's the one I got for when she read the pill. Oh, so you're getting your money's worth then? Absolutely. Uh, look, if I were to splash out every time Fizz gets the urge to walk down an aisle, I'd be on Poverty Row. There's running, mate. It was my mum who was growing dangerously fond of alcohol. I, I don't need a secret stash. Oh, I wasn't suggesting you did. If you don't like I'm it. I'm joking. I love it. Oh. Right. Oh. We're off to Fan Crane to take the presents, provided it can fit through the door after that dinner at Yasmin's. <laughs> well, I eat rabbit food 364 days in the year. I'm tired of filming books on Christmas Day. Well, you could fit a whole shoe department. <laughs> I mean, it's no wonder you've got them elasticated sweatpants on. I take it they're not a fashion statement, are they? See what I have to put up with? Are you coming with us or what? Oh, no, I'm feeling a bit tired. Um, tell them I might swing by later. OK, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Bye. So, just you and me, then. Hey, listen, if, if you're feeling tired... No, 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 no. I just fancied some more interesting company. I've got a bottle of white in the fridge and half a tray of chocolate Brazils to finish, if you fancy. Sounds like an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> Repeat after me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Tyrone Sylvester Dobbs. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Tyrone Sylvester Dobbs. Do take thee, Fiona Stape, to be my lawful wedded wife. Do take thee, Fiona Stape, to be my lawful wedded wife. Smashy, Fiona, please repeat after me. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Fiona Stape, I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Fiona Stape. Do take thee, Tyrone Sylvester Dobbs, to be my lawful wedded wife. The husband, sorry. Do take thee, Tyrone Sylvester Dobbs, to be my lawful wedded husband. Do you have rings? Well, I have one. <laughs> Fine. Uh, repeat after me. <clears throat> Fiona. I offer this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. Fiona, I offer this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. Lovely. Fiona and Tyrone, you have now both made the declarations required by law and have made a solemn and binding contract in the presence of the persons here present. I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Where did you find it? It's an heirloom. My mother's sister. I went to a golden wedding celebration. <gasps> Must be ancient. It's not that old. Well, we really appreciate you letting us have it. Well, I'm just glad that our burglar missed it. Oh, they stole the one that I was going to propose to you with. It was in the gift bag in, with the bottle of wine for you to open this morning. But I actually think that this one's nicer. Mm, yeah. It's got centuries of love in it. Well, Decades, by now. Right, gents, Rita. If you'll excuse me, I have got some important news to share with my followers and an engagement party to plan. Seriously, Dad, really grateful. Oh, I wouldn't let an opportunity burglar ruin your plans. Not after the ordeal you've both been through. Oh, 
My lords, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> may I present Mr. and Mrs. Tyrone Dobbs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know us. We don't like to do things easy. Uh, I take it this means that you and my little brother haven't actually arranged your wedding. No fear. What? I'm only joking. You sounded pretty serious to me. Gemma, of course we're going to get married. One day. Yeah, and when might that be? Mm -hmm. I just... Are you sure you don't mind looking after the kids? I don't want to take advantage. That's my wedding present, isn't it? Besides, it'd be a blessed relief to get back in my own bed. <gasps> so go on, then. Where did you go after James's place? No point in grilling me, is there? Go on, you've got some mingling to do. On your way, mingle. <laughs> I'm having a quiet one. What about you? Any plans for New Year? Yeah, plenty. It'll be a big few weeks. Oh, yeah. Mm, definitely. Everyone will have the part to play. Why? What do you want me to do? All will be revealed when the time comes. <laughs> but for now, you can start by grabbing me a cold one. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Now I'm here. Things still rough at home. Do you know what? I don't really want to talk about it. The older you get, the more you realise family matters. Hmm. And if you don't matter to them... Yeah, I'm sure they're just trying to look out for you. Like I said, they don't give a toss about me. And I really don't want to talk about it. Hey. What you, man? Well, someone will be watching over you today. And I'm sure it was Jack and Vera. So, can we raise our glasses to Jack, Vera, Absent friends. Jack and Vera are absent friends. I'm sure they've been watching over you for a while. Got you through some tough times, but you're still together. <laughs> and one thing I've learned is that when things get tough, you really understand what love means. And that's why I know, after passing the hardest MOT this year, <laughs> you two have got a lot of miles in you. <laughs> To the bride and groom. Oh. Bride and groom. Bride and groom. Bride and groom. Oh. Bride and groom. Oh. Bride and groom. 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 Bride very much. <laughs> mm, it's a nice photo. Well, it is a beautiful ring. Your followers seem to like it. Yeah, they made up for us. Hey, this guy seems particularly gushing. He's always nice. I mean, most of them are. Social media gets a bad rep. Yeah, we're the greater differ on that one. I'm just happy you're happy. I could not be more happy. Not dying aside, you proposing is the best Christmas present I could have had. Some things you just can't compete with, can you? Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. Loads of them. Hey, don't you want a cab? We've had a couple. Oh, Dad, now the walk will clear my head. Hey, thanks. Not just for today, but for everything. I haven't done anything. You've done plenty. And helping me must have been a distraction being so busy with the house sale. That's what estate agents are for. Hey, and when Sarah's business is in profit, you get your money back. Every red cent. You and I can properly yeah. show you how much I appreciate what you've done. Well, um... <sighs> I wouldn't say no to a little down payment. OK. <laughs> mm. All right. That's fine. Thanks for the I mean, I feel sorry for Fizz and all that, but I am glad that I didn't miss that dinner. That was absolutely mega. It was huge. No wonder Dylan's gone for a little lie down. Turkey was amazing, George. <laughs> if anyone knows how to prepare dead meat, it's him. Oh, Ew. Thank you, Dylan. 
you for that typically tasteful contribution, but I have to agree that was cracking. You've earned both your presents. TMI, surely. <laughs> so, I wanted to see how you redeemed yourself after last year's fiasco, so I got you an expensive present and kept the receipt and a less expensive present. Looks like a boa constrictor. <laughs> One of them long hot water bottles, you can wear it under your clothes. Is that a hot water bottle? You're just pleased to see me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is fantastic, because it gets dead chilly at work, doesn't it? Well, so to speak. This is ideal. So, what was the cheap gift? Oh, he's easily pleased. Here you are. This is the expensive one. Earbuds. Wireless. Very discreet. You can use them at work. Oh, no, I won't do that. No, not after Barry Duncalf. Who? Competitor. Well, he was. Barry Duncalf had a set of these in during a funeral service at the Creme, listening to an England match. Anyway, Harry Kane scores a belter, so Barry jumps up, does a fist pump and screams, get in there, just as the coffin's rolling backwards towards the three of doors. <laughs> Ruined him. Oh, well, best wear those at home, Ed. Yeah, Will. Oh, thank you, love. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you know what, though? I feel so bad now about the sofa. Why don't I get on the tablet and see if there's anything in the boxing day? I'll pick the sofa. You sort the pudding. You know, I make phone calls sometimes with my earbuds in and people see me and they think I'm off with the fairies. You're pinning <laughs> that on the earbuds. <laughs> oh, I got a message from your brother. I didn't think he'd bother. Oh, why? What's he got to say? He's invited me to Thailand. He, he sent an e-ticket. I go tomorrow. What about me? It's only one ticket. I could do with a holiday. Maybe I could book myself on the same flight. Uh, no way. We've got the Christmas backlog, post-Christmas blues, and every chance of a cold snap is peak season. He's got a point. Oh, I suppose. Oh, I'll only be away for a month. A month? Oh. Ah, well, George, at least you got your long hot water bottle to snuggle up to you, haven't you? Huh? Square. Uh, Chariot Square Hotel and put your foot down, please, Tim. Do you want a little fella? Hey, where'd you get that hat from? You're up in it? Oh, the show to bring that one back with you tonight. I will. Times I've lambasted people for waving their mobile phones at historic sites and cultural events rather than appreciating the moment for itself. Do you want a wedding snap or not? There's something wrong with this viewfinder. It's looking right up my nose. Oh, you've got it on selfie <laughs> mode. Come here. <laughs> Yeah. Look, I'm sorry I wasn't able to get over earlier or something came up. I'm sure. Hey, but really, don't worry about it. I'm not. Ty, it's Chris! What? Ty! What? Ty, what are you doing? I'm telling you, it's Chris! There! The guy that I told you about. Who helped him? The car broke down. I don't know what he's doing here. He's disappeared. This is Dots. Are you half cut? Because I knew you was hitting that sparkling wine pretty hard. No, I just... He must have been... Uh, Louise is in charge of the Christmas parade in the very last ever Doc Martin. The Christmas special is at five past nine. That's after the boys roll out the red carpet for celebrity teams for the first time in Anton Deck's Christmas Limitless Win next.